Hi friends, this is my friend Hank and me, Nicole and Kyle. We are going to talk to you today about um, labeling food good and bad. I'm sure that you guys are familiar with this. I'm pretty sure everyone is. From a young age, you were raised um, with healthy and unhealthy food. Often people will say, well, that's good food, that's bad food. There are specific foods that have more sugar, carbs, and fat that are labeled junk food. There's always, there always seems to be a negative vibe, that's not the word I'm looking for, but it's the only one I've got right now, surrounding some food. And with that negativity around that food comes the guilt about eating that food. And that is, that's a huge deal for people, especially people that are emotional eaters. And as Kyle and I often say, say to you, we are emotional eaters. And when you have those labels in your head about this is good food, I should be eating this, this is healthy food, and this is not healthy food, I shouldn't be eating it. If you keep telling yourself, I can't eat unhealthy food, you will eat more unhealthy food than you want it to. And if you look at it, um, all foods have some sort of healthy and unhealthy aspects to them. Take a banana. A banana has a lot of vitamins and minerals in it for you, a lot of good things, but it's also really high in carbs and sugar. And yes, natural sugars, but still, eating a banana for Kyle and I when we're cutting will make us gain weight. So there you have a food that's labeled healthy, but for Kyle and I, it's not healthy. It actually causes us to gain weight if we eat too many of them. So just be very conscious of when you're, when you're thinking about food and when you're scolding yourself for eating something that's not healthy uh, or being proud of yourself for eating something that is healthy. You want to be very conscious of not labeling foods because if you really think about it and you want to lead a healthy lifestyle and not just go on a diet and then be done, because if we're going to be honest, you can't, if you want to lose weight and keep it off, you can't just go on a diet and be done because there's a whole maintenance part where you, you have to eat and live a healthy lifestyle if you want to keep that off. And a healthy lifestyle means balanced, which means you eat all foods, whether they're healthy or unhealthy, you eat them all in, in portion and balanced ways. So that's why we often don't label, like we will refer to our treat day as a cheat day just because that's what a lot of people know them as. But with cheat implies guilt. And we don't wanna feel guilty about eating foods that we love. Yes, we realize if we eat a lot of those foods, we will go back to where we were. But that doesn't make them unhealthy because if you look at it like that, it's very damaging to your, to your thinking, to your um, emotion, to your emotional being, to label foods good and bad. Um, so now we try to be in the habit of not saying junk food or healthy or not healthy. And when we're not on camera, we refer to our treat day as a treat day because they're treats. Yes, we eat them on one day and in whatever portion that we want. And we know that for us that's healthy. And we eat your, we eat more of the foods that contain more nutrient dense, we eat foods that are more nutrient dense during the week, but labeling them, that will, that will sabotage you. So um, my moral of my story is just be really conscious of when you are labeling your food. Try not to label it and not labeling food will also help you get rid of some of the guilt you have surrounding eating certain things. And when you can do that, not feel guilty for what you're eating and allow yourself to truly enjoy food, whether it's a banana or an ice cream, um, 
the more you let go of your guilt, the more results that you will see on your body, on the scale, and mentally. You will feel more positive, you will feel less guilty, you will feel better about yourself, you won't beat yourself up as much. Um, labeling food is, is a huge thing and it's a huge part of why also why we were able to lose weight and keep it off because we're working on not feeling guilty around eating any food or around not eating certain food like sometimes I get tired of eating eggs during the week so instead of beating myself up for it I just choose something else you don't have to always eat them because they're the best protein you, you don't want to label things and tell yourself you have to eat them because they're healthy or not and or you can't eat them because they're not healthy so I hope that you guys learn something or that you um, at least will take it and think about it and not beat yourself up remember try to work on not labeling food you will definitely feel a lot better about how you eat what you eat and about yourself if you do try working on that so thanks so much for watching say hi to hank <laughs> um and we will see you guys later don't forget like and subscribe bye guys <laughs>